munchkins. I know it's been a long time, but I had finals last week, and I'm finally trying to figure out a schedule on when I should film and stuff. But anyway, um, let's talk about this book, because I finished it like two weeks ago, but I didn't have time to uh, make a book review for it, so I think it's time. So the only thing I've got to say is... Uh, there are going to be spoilers in this video because, you know, I like to spoil things. And let's talk about the fourth installment of the House of Night series, Untamed. So it starts off with Zoe trying to get her friends back because, you know, she kind of got into this love square triangle thing. And, you know, she started lying to him. She lost her trust. Then Aphrodite had a vision in this, books, in this book. And uh, she said, if you don't get your friends back, you're going to die. So she was like, oh crap, I need to make friends again. So uh, she she pretty much tells him she's sorry and blah, 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 blah. And that is done with. She meets a new guy named Stark. Stark has a special ability of never missing his target. So that's pretty cool. But he ends up dying. And she ends up kissing him before he dies. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. The thing with Stark, he doesn't um, he doesn't have a cat. Um, vampires are very close to cats, but he has a dog. Um, which is kind of cool because he's different. He's attached to a dog, not a cat. But, I don't know. I just think it's kind of cool that he's different. That he gets, um, dogs get along with him better than cats. Um... So, yeah, anyway, that happens with with Zoe. She had another, uh, she has another boyfriend. Um, he was a floodling, and he didn't make it through the change, so he died. Um, yeah, he, di he died, because, you know, there is a new thing happening where um, blue vampires, they die, and they turn into red vampires, and red vampires don't have humanity and they have to try finding it to go through the change and become a red adult vampire. Red vampires actually are just like normal vampires. They have to avoid the sun because they will burn. They can only drink blood. They can do mind control. And I think they can do something else. I just don't remember it because, again, I've read this book two weeks ago and I have finished the fifth book of this series which I have to do another book review for because I'm getting behind on book reviews for once and I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing with my life? <coughs> so yeah, oh, speaking of that, I'm still sick for some reason. I cannot get rid of this cough to save my life. Anyway, tangents. So what happens after Stark dies is that she, um, she figures out a lot about the High Priestess plan, and that is to bring a fallen angel that is trapped in the earth back um, to the real world, meaning bringing him, taking him out of his tomb. So, um, and the only way you can get him out of his tomb is to make earth bleed. Now let's talk about this fallen angel, and if you are touchy about rape, I'm sorry, but that is what happens with this fallen angel um, story. This fallen angel, he falls from heaven. He comes, he comes to earth, and he has this ability to make women do whatever he wants to and stuff. And women start figuring out that he, um, he has been putting them under a spell and just been doing all kinds of stuff. So they avoid him, and they start becoming stronger. He gets pissed off, and he just stops using his powers and starts raping women. Then he has children. His children aren't normal children most of the time. They're actually ravens with human arms and eyes. So they're giant ravens with human arms, human hands, and uh, I think human feet. And they have human eyes, and I'm like... That's really weird and really gross, but, um, okay. That's cool. And he actually, um, pisses off a couple of witches that, um, entrap him and his children in a tomb that's in the earth. And this is why when, um, he does, if he does rise, you have to hide underneath earth because he doesn't like earth. And when he does, 
arise from his tomb, he wants to get his revenge on women, meaning more raping happens, and this is why I didn't want to talk about this, but it is a part of the book, so I kind of have to talk about it, so sorry about that, but I did have to talk about his story, and it's kind of touchy for me too, so part of the book, had to talk about it. Completely sorry about that. Anyway, um, so she figures out the high priest's plan and about this fallen angel and about his story and um, she's like okay but how do you make earth bleed but anyway um stevie ray and her friends go to um a full moon or some kind of ritual that she needed to go to and um she brings stevie ray to show that the dead friends that were supposed to be dead are still alive and they become red floodlings and the high priestess starts being eh, you lie you lie you lie then stark um comes back to life and shoots stevie ray in the chest and that is how you make earth bleed because stevie ray does have um she can control earth so she's practically earth herself and she bled so um, all of the fallen angels children and him rise from earth and hell breaks loose that's pretty much the ending the ending is stevie ray and zoe going to stevie ray's place where she lives because for some reason the red fledlings feel more comfortable underneath earth so they hide in tunnels and yeah pretty much the book ends that way where stevie ray has a giant arrow has a arrow in her chest and hell breaks loose and now they're living in tunnels so yeah <coughs> so the only thing i've got to say is um i kind of didn't like this book because it was full of so much filler so yeah it was full of a lot of filler but it was still really good but not really good. So the only thing I've got to say is, um, yeah, I rate this book at least an 8.5. It's not the greatest book, but it's still a really good book. So, yeah. So the only other thing I've got to say is if you like what you've seen today, remember to subscribe or click that annotation. Remember to like, or dislike, share, and favorite. And the only thing I've got to say is keep on reading my Autobots, Decepticons, and Munchkins of all types. And I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the coughing in the middle of the video. Um, for some reason... I still have this annoying cough that I cannot get rid of, and it's really making me mad. So sorry for the coughing in the middle of my video and my conversation.